All right then, gang, so at the minute we've created this home stack navigator right here and registered these two different screens. And then when we surround it with this create app container function, it returns a component which we're rendering right here. And this determines which screen to currently show. Currently this one right here because it's at the top of this configuration. But that's all it's really doing at the minute. We need a way now to navigate between these two different screens using this navigator. So how exactly do we do that? Well, first of all, let's go to the home screen because that's the one that loads up automatically by default. And what I'd like to do is place a button in this component. And when we click on that button, take us to the review details component over here. So first things first, let's import button up here. And then let's create that button down here. And it's self-closing. We need a title prop on this button, which is going to say something like go to review debts. Okay. So if I save this at the minute, we should see that button over here. But when we click it, it's not really going to do anything yet. So if I click it, nothing happens. So we need an on press handler. So what I'm going to do is add that right here on press and set that equal to some kind of function, which I'm going to define up here. So const and we'll call this press handler and set it equal to an arrow function. Now inside this arrow function, what we want to do is then navigate to the review detail screen. Now, how exactly do we do that? Well, when we configure our navigation stack like this, every screen that we configure automatically gets a navigation property on the props assigned to it. So in here, you know, like we can take in props, right? Well, we get a property on the props called navigation. So props.navigation like that. And we can use that then to navigate to different screens in the stack. So I'm going to get rid of that because what I like to do instead of taking the props directly is to destructure what we need from the props. And we're going to destructure navigation. So now we have access to this navigation object right here. And what we can do is say now navigation and we can use a method on that called navigate. And in here, we can pass a string and the string is going to be where we want to navigate to. And it has to be one of these things, the names of the different screens. So either review details or home. So not this name and not this name, even though they're the same, whatever you called it right here. So we want to go to review details. So let me copy that dude and paste it in here in a string. That's where we want to navigate to. So then React Navigation is going to look at this and it's going to find this property inside our screens object right here. And it's going to say, OK, well, if you want to navigate there, I'm going to show this screen, this component right here that we imported. And it's going to then take us to that and show it on the screen. So let me save this now and see if this works. I'm going to, oops, no, it doesn't. So this there's a problem with, oh, that's because we've not said right here what we want to happen on press. So we want to run the press handler function like so. So let me save that now and hopefully now this will work. Okay, so when we click on this now, go to review details and we get that screen and take a look at this. We have this arrow automatically in the header. We did not have to do a thing to put that there. React navigation and the stack navigator in particular automatically places that arrow there and it knows that we've come from another screen and if we press this it can take us back to that original screen so if you think back to our stack we had the home screen at the bottom then we clicked on the button and that added this screen to the stack on top now if we click on this arrow right here it's going to pop this screen back off the stack and it's going to show the home screen underneath so click on that and we can now see the home screen underneath awesome so that works. Now, that's an easy way to navigate from one screen to another. We can also use a different method, and that is the push method. So let me say navigation dot push. And then if we place in review details, this is going to do the same thing. Only this is a bit more explicit, right? So remember when we were talking about the stack to add something to the stack, we push it on. And to take it away, we pop it off. So this is a more explicit method right here, but it's going to do exactly the same thing. So let's save that and just test it out. 
and again click on that button and it still works and if I click on the back button it still pops it off automatically. Now when we're using these two there's not really much difference in the two different methods and I'm going to stick with this one at the top, navigate. But when you're making more complex apps, sometimes you need a little more granular control over the stack and how it works. And then you can use this push method for that. Now, just like we have a push method, we have a pop method as well. And remember that pops a screen off the stack. And that's actually what's happening behind the scenes when we click on this arrow. But we can manually do that as well. So let me comment out this one and bring this one back first of all. Then I'm going to go to the review details component over here and the same in this component. I want to add a button now inside here that when we click it is going to pop that screen off the stack. So it's going to do exactly the same thing as the arrow at the top, but this is a more manual approach. And sometimes you might want a button or a link or something that when a user presses on it, takes you back. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first things first, let's import a button at the top. And then down here, we'll create that button. And the title this time is going to be something like back to home screen. So title is equal to back to home screen, like so. And then we also need an on press handler. So let's create a function up here to do that. I'm going to say const and then press handler again, equal to a function. And inside that function, all we want to do is use navigation. And remember, we have to grab that from the props. So we destructure it, navigation. And again, the reason we get access to this is because we've used this particular component in the stack navigator, right? So every component that we use in the stack navigator automatically gets this. If we were to go to the about component, we wouldn't get that because we've not configured that inside the stack navigator. Just the ones we've configured here get access to it. So we take that and we can use the go back method like so. And that now pops a screen off the stack. So now if I save this, in fact, let's not make the same mistake twice. Let's put press handler in here, then save it and see if this works. So go to review details. And we can click on the back button that works. Let's do it again. And this time click on this button and it does exactly the same thing. It pops a screen off the stack and goes back to the home screen. So now we know a little bit about how to navigate between screens. Let's add some data to the mix and see how we can pass data from one screen to another as well. So basically we want a list of different reviews here eventually and when we click on a review we want to go to this screen and navigate here but we want to pass that particular review data into the component so we can render it so we'll see exactly how to do that in the next video